So guys, I'm here today to draw you the story about the bean that became gas. Once there was a bean called Fred. Now Fred was a big guy, a bit too big for my stomach. So I tossed him away into the food waste. Two days later, the garbage truck came and picked Fred up and took him to his new home, the biofuel plant. In there, it got chucked in with all the old food waste. He really liked it there. He felt at home. He even made some new corn friends and got to know a piece of pie called Murphy. After a while, Fred and Murphy felt like things started to move. And all of a sudden, everybody got squashed together real hard into a tube. In this tube, Fred and Murphy and all the other organic food waste came up to the surface. Wow. All the old condoms, shoes, jeans dropped down to the bottom and disappeared. Fred and Murphy found out they were starting to become one mass and they were really happy about it because it meant that they would be closer to each other all the time. They also met some other friends, Poppy Applecorn, Rodney Banana, Charlie Eggshell and many more. They really started to feel like a family. Fred, the corn, Murphy and all his new friends sat and chilled out, playing poker, throwing darts, in the big silo, also known as a rotten food chamber. They were really having the time of their lives and every day they felt they were coming lighter, lighter and lighter. Until 18 days, they had transformed into gas. Yay! Yay! Said the friends when they flew up into the air and down the tube and into the can. They lived in this can for a while and shared the space with poop gas. Until one day, a car came and picked them up, put them in the tank and then drove off. And instead of polluting the air, Fred, the corn, Murphy and all their friends and the poop gas landed on a nice piece of grass and lived there for the rest of their lives in peace with their organic friends. Biofuel. This story was read to you by Big Steve. <laughs>